For nearly 50 years, Voyager 1 drifted quietly through the cold, endless void of interstellar space. Many believed its final signal faint and weakening would be its last. But what initially appeared to be a dying transmission has since evolved into one of the most perplexing and enigmatic signals ever documented. It started subtly as a low-frequency hum, then unexpectedly the spacecraft altered its orientation and began relaying data back to Earth. When artificial intelligence was used to analyze this data, it revealed intricate patterns resembling purposeful intelligence not an equipment failure or background cosmic noise. It seemed as though something, or perhaps someone, had responded. Physicist Mitiwaku issued a cautionary statement suggesting Voyager might have encountered an entity or force far beyond our current understanding. The possibility emerged could this be contact with a probe or a presence unlike anything humanity has ever known. Whatever the source, it was likely not intended for our ears and could permanently alter humanity's perception of the universe. Having launched in 1977, Voyager 1 traveled over 15 billion miles from Earth, gradually losing power as its systems aged. Scientists anticipated a quiet end, with its instruments ceasing operation one by one. Yet, in 2023, the unexpected occurred. Strange low-frequency tone, persistent and unexplained, reached Earth from the depths of space. This was no random background noise. Days later, Voyager shifted its orientation, something it hadn't done in years and without receiving any commands. Its camera, dormant since 1990, turned to aim at a blank expanse in space void of stars, galaxies, or any recognizable celestial features. This bizarre shift led to immediate questions. Was Voyager reacting to something undetectable by our instruments? Stella Coera, a researcher at Cornell University, observed that the craft appeared to be sensing a constant, subtle hum from interstellar gas. This led to deeper investigations as scientists attempted to understand why a spacecraft dormant for decades would suddenly redirect itself. The key seemed to lie in the nature of the hum itself. Experts were astounded by Voyager's sudden maneuver. Its thrusters, unused for years, activated and aimed its sensors at an otherwise empty region of space. The hum it detected displayed structured patterns nothing like random background signals or known astrophysical events when the data was. Processed using advanced AI, it revealed elements of binary structure and harmonic sequences traits typically associated with intentional signals. Interestingly, the patterns bore a resemblance to the Arachibo message a binary encoded transmission humanity sent in 1974 toward possible extraterrestrial listeners. Dr. Mayowaku noted that the data from Voyager wasn't random but held structure and information suggesting it could have come from an intelligent source. This raised compelling questions. Had someone finally received our message from decades ago and sent a reply? The signal Voyager intercepted didn't resemble natural cosmic events. Its consistent structure and rhythmic frequency hinted that it wasn't the result of cosmic interference. One theory arose, the signal might be a response to the golden record an artifact launched with Voyager containing audio and images representing life on Earth. If some advanced intelligence had discovered it, they might have chosen to respond. Using a type of plasma wave something Voyager could detect, such a scenario stirred both excitement and unease. Contact with a non-human intelligence would be historically profound, but it also meant humanity's position in the cosmos had been exposed. What was once a hopeful message to the stars might now serve as a beacon, pointing directly to Earth. The fact that Voyager was still capable of transmitting and changing orientation decades after its launch raised even more concern. The orientation change caught scientists off guard. Voyager's fuel lines were believed to be frozen and its systems nearly inoperable. No logs showed commands or malfunctions, and no trace of old code explained the shift. Voyager had turned as if something instructed it to do so. The direction it faced was toward a mapped region of space completely devoid of known celestial bodies. 
Speculation grew perhaps Voyager was responding to or even being influenced by an unseen entity that had already noticed us. One NASA analyst, who remained anonymous, remarked that it felt like watching a machine answer a call we never knew came in. The spacecraft's behavior was neither random nor mechanical in the traditional sense. Soon after the directional change, Voyager began transmitting distorted data. At first, it resembled typical hardware degradation, but patterns began to surface binary, logic, symmetrical timing, and harmonic modulation. These weren't glitches, they repeated with mathematical accuracy, scientists checked for system malfunctions, solar interference, and software errors. All diagnostics came back clean, feeding the signal into AI systems yielded unexpected results. Echoes of the original Arachibo message appeared, subtly embedded in the data. Although not an exact copy, the structure mirrored it like a reply crafted in the same linguistic framework. Dr. Mayoaku warned that Voyager might be participating in a conversation humanity never meant to start. A consistent pattern was emerging something no one could yet explain. What had once been dismissed as science fiction now drew serious attention from global institutions. Following these developments, agencies around the world including NASA, ESA, CNSA, and Roscosmos began holding classified meetings. Publicly, the incident was labeled a data anomaly review, but the secrecy and urgency suggested otherwise. As the signal continued, its structure became more sophisticated. Timing sequences changed. Some believed it was not just a one-time reply, but an evolving interaction. AI experts joined the analysis, and one system, trained to detect intelligence signals, flagged the data as active modulation, indicating a two-way process. According to some researchers, this could be more than a reply. It might be an ongoing dialogue between Voyager and something else entirely. Public statements from NASA remained vague, describing technical evaluations. Yet internal communications reportedly referred to the incident as a persistent anomaly. One AI researcher suggested that we might have tapped into a private stream of communication never meant for us a disturbing notion. If true, humanity didn't just receive a message, we might have accidentally intercepted something not directed at Earth at all. Originally, the golden record symbolized hope a cultural snapshot of Earth, complete with sounds, greetings, zen, multiple languages, and diagrams revealing our planet's location. But in this new light, it appears more like a galactic flare. If discovered and understood, it would lead any recipient directly to us. Now, many scientists believe the recent signals might not be mere coincidence or technical issues, but a delayed reply to that interstellar message. The idea that Voyager remains active, altering course and sending data with intelligent characteristics has triggered concern. If something intercepted the golden record and decided to communicate, the signal may not simply originate from Voyager, it could be passing through it. As Dr. Mayoaka reflected, what was once considered a one-way message into the void now feels like the opening line in a dialogue we never anticipated. The realization came not from human analysts, but from machines, as AI systems processed voyagers. Distorted telemetry, they uncovered repeating prime numbers, harmonic structures, and mathematically symmetrical sequences. These were unmistakable signs of intentional design, not the product of a damaged transmitter. One system even rendered the signal as a visual model annery, organized structure that felt engineered. Dr. Mayoaku concluded, this isn't chaos. This is code for one of the first times a prominent scientist acknowledged the likelihood of a message embedded within cosmic data. Yet even if the signal was intelligent, it prompted new mysteries. Who or what sent it? Was it life, a machine, a sensor, or something outside our comprehension? Behind closed doors, NASA's stance shifted. Officially, the signal was still attributed to aging equipment. However, internal communications revealed that it was being treated as a continuous anomaly requiring high-level attention. The structured patterns transmitted by Voyager weren't dismissed, they were studied, monitored, and catalogued. 
What began as a low hum may now represent something that forces humanity to rethink its place in the universe.